So we are in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division, the most populated weight class here at Tashkent 2023. 59 boxers making his way confidently towards the boxing ring. Here's the man from India, Nishat Dev, who's enjoyed a terrific run through to this portion of the tournament. His opponent is Kazakhstan's veteran, the 29 year old Aslan Bekshin Bergenov. World Series boxing experience under his belt. Oh, he's really he's accomplished he's operator on the continental and stage. About 507 is scheduled for three three minute rounds in an elite men's light middleweight boxing division matchup. Your five judges being represented here tonight ringside from the kingdom of Jordan, Algeria, Zimbabwe, Argentina, and Croatia. Over the action begins, your referee Bidewell in the center of the ring, representing the IBA by way of Russia with referee Andre Nihuin. So we're underway, 71 kilogram light middleweight action between two boxers in their second AIBA World Boxing Championships. The man wearing red operating out of the southpaw stance is Nishat Deb. Just 22 years of age from Haryana State. And his opponent wearing blue operating out of the orthodox stance is Aslan Bek Shimbergenov in the Jambul region. Both of these men quarter-finalists in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division in Belgrade two years ago. And listen to the support in the Humo Arena here for Shimbergenov. Left right not too far away from the man in blue. Dev just using the space of the ring. Coming forward behind a double southpaw right and left jab, but just short of the mark. And again, the battle for the position of that outside foot so crucial in contest between southpaw and orthodox boxers. Nice right jab, left cross landed by Nishant Dev. Bergenov fainting with that lead hand backing up nicely to cause the left cross of Dev to fall short but that single was right on the money from Dev rapier like backhand rammed down the pipe they're looking for the same shot once again but Shimbergenov landing with a left job left jab nice combination punching from Dev in response to the lead left jab landed by Shimbergenov Nice right hand lead landed by the man in blue. Shimbergenov making his man miss, didn't make him pay, but he backed up effectively to increase the gap between himself and Dev. Dev keeping the attack going behind a right jab, left cross. The left cross did land. <coughs> but Shimbergenov sharp shooting success with a one two combination. Thinking man's contest this one. They're both having to really work for their openings and a southpaw right with the eye-catching shot from Dev during that trade-off. Coming from his lead hand out of that port-sided stance and jolting the head back of Shimbergenov. Oh. 
So no harm done after that trip to the canvas during the tangle between the two. Nice left hand landed by Dev out of that southpaw stance once again. So terrific round of boxing between these two rangy punch pickers. Both men enjoying success, backhand sex, success notable in the closing stages of the round from Dev. So how will the five scoring judges see this one? Because Shimbergenov was having success with straights of his own like that. But there is, he turned orthodox momentarily, backhand success for Dev once again. And it's a 3-2 split in favor of Shimbergenov. Judges one and three from Jordan and Zimbabwe preferring the work of the man in red. So into the second round we go. Both boxers reminded that they are not to wrestle on the inside when looking for clinches. There's the southpaw, the circumnavigating the ring, back practically skimming the ropes. Launching a one-two but was off the mark, Shimbergenov, and then turning the tables to get himself in the space of the ring and launch his own one-two. Southpaw right, followed by a left cross was Dev. But both boxers inaccurate during that attempted exchange, but that's a ramrod southpaw right landed by Dev. There's a southpaw left landed upstairs after his cluster that preceded it from the man in red. Oh, beautiful counter right hand from Shimbergenov. And again, every success that he enjoys is amplified by the large Kazakh contingent of supporters in attendance here at the Homo Arena. Judges not wearing ear defenders. And so the atmosphere is something that they will be absorbing also. But of course, they are all locked and concentrated on the action that is taking place. for a left right left with Shimbergenov but tucking up tightly behind his gloves and forearms was Dev causing those shots to be off target nice turning of the tables once again and as Shimbergenov found himself with his back to his opponent and was looking out into the arena half light Dev helped himself to a few shots he wasn't rabbit punching hitting in the rear of the head he was looking to land around the target area of Shimbergenov, he broke the rules by turning his back on his opponent. Not intentionally, of course, but it was due to the sharp movement of Dev. So the binding on the right glove requires some attention. So the referee has called time. And the running repairs will be carried out on that right glove by the Indian boxer's corner. Not sure how long that's going to hold up. No new tape was applied. It was just snipped and not necessarily snipped at the root from my vantage point here ringside. Nevertheless, the action resumes. Minute remaining in this second round. Again, look at that Shimbergenov stepping on the lead right foot of Dev. And that is a battle that is always so significant when Southpaw and Orthodox boxers share the ring. Left hand not too far away from Dev. Trying to get that front foot outside. It was Shimbergenov who had it outside. Heel of the glove of Dev into the face of Shimbergenov. He steals a glance to his corner after being shoved into the ropes. Oh, terrifically picked right cross. The final shot of that attempted exchange. And then success to the body from Shimbergenov in the closing 20 seconds of this second round. Dev will be aware of that. And he lands some quality in the closing 10 seconds because that was a significant portion of the round. There's a nice right hook landed by Dev. Comes forward but walks onto a right hook of the backhand from Shimbergenov. Terrific punch picking. The Indian supporters looking to make their presence felt for their boxer in red. But I think Shimbergenov did enough to take that round 
Remember, he took the first on a 3-2 split. That portion of quality in the closing 20 seconds or so could well be decisive. 3-2 split in the first round in favor of Shimbergenov. Dev having his moments in the second as well. And I think Shimbergenov has done enough to take it. How will the five scoring judges return their scorecards? Terrific counter right hand to end that exchange from Shimbergenov. And it is a 3-2 split in favor of Shimbergenov once again, which means that we have, because of the distribution of the scores, it is 19 points apiece for judges one and four, 20 points to 18 for judges five and two for blue, and 20, 18 for red from judge number three from Zimbabwe. That means it has all come down to the final three minutes. Shimbergenov only needs to convince one of judges one and four that he can take the final round whereas Dev has got to convince both of them because he's only got 20 points to 18 for one of the judges and that is judge number three from Zimbabwe counter right hand success twice again from Shimbergenov catching Dev as he was going looking for success over the front foot looking for a bolo left hand to the body out of the southpaw stance was Dev but inaccurate with his attempt So the fainting continues, single shot success and then a left-right success from Shimbergenov. During that portion of the round, a terrific portion for him. Dev, short with his attempted one-two, doesn't want his work to become untidy because the pendulous manner in which that left hand came back could well present an opportunity for the backhand counter that Shimbergenov has been using so effectively in this contest, particularly in round two. And the fans in full voice trying to encourage Shimbergenov. He gets onto the front foot. Right left success for Dev. And then another right left success where the left hand was landed right on the bridge of the nose from Dev. Shimbergenov going in search of backhand success. Shaking his head dismissively is Dev. So plenty of fainting just on the edge of punching range between these two. Oh, final word in that exchange coming from Dev and they were eye-catching shots as well. Minute remaining in the third and final round of a contest that is in the balance. Two tied scores of 19 points apiece. One judge beautifully picked right cross landed by Shimbergenov. Oh, that's a jolting left hook. Landed by the Indian boxer, half hook, half uppercut. As the time continues to tick, both boxers remaining absolutely concentrated. Good success to the body before switching upstairs for Dev. And then a left hook landed after a body shot from Shimbergenov. So who can produce that moment of quality like a left cross like that from Devi bombing away with that backhand brings a right hook into play 10 second clapper has sounded Shimbergenov triggering off the attack Dev getting over the front foot looking to crowd his man it's an untidy tangle to conclude the contest both men punching right up until the final bell and a contest that was in the balance after six minutes of boxing produced a furious third and final round where both boxers let it all hang out. Now remember, in the event that it is 3-2 or 2-3, we will go to bout review. But how will the scoring judges score that third and final frame? Dev was leading 20 points to 18 for judge number three after six minutes of boxing and we do have indeed a split decision so the bout has automatically gone to review and the observer and evaluator their scorecards will be considered i happen to think the man in blue has done enough but what say 
the observer and evaluator after the bard has gone to review, meaning that we must have had a close split of 3-2 either way. The bout decision wasn't official because it wasn't announced, so we've gone to review, and at the announcement of the review, that's when the result will be official. And your semifinals come to a close after we three three minute rounds in an elite men's light middleweight boxing division matchup. We go to the judges' scorecards where your judges are ruled in favor of your winner by points declared by split decision to the blue corner. What a wonderful moment for Aslan Bek Shinbergenov, a split decision winner on points over India's Nishant Dev. But it's been a brilliant display by the 22-year-old from Haryana. He has earned himself a World Championship bronze. And this is his second appearance at a World Championships, going one better than his quarterfinal.